John Locke is the father of classical liberalism. His core political ideas and doctrines are really at the heart of constitutional law and Anglo-American jurisprudence. British philosopher John Locke was born on August 29, 1632, in the county of Somerset, England. After attending schools in London and Oxford, he received his Master's of Arts from the prestigious Christ College. In 1668, he was elected into the Royal Society, where he studied medicine and graduated as a physician in 1684. While Locke was studying medicine, he met Anthony Ashley Cooper, who persuaded Locke to move to London and be his personal physician. Lord Ashley would later become the first Earl of Shaftesbury. As Lord Shaftesbury's stature grew, Locke's responsibilities went well beyond personal secretary or physician. Locke became a government official. He was in charge of collecting data on the colonies, and in fact becomes a political operative, and eventually becomes a revolutionary. Lord Shaftesbury was tried for treason and in 1682 fled to Holland. Locke followed a year later and there wrote his philosophical work, An Essay Concerning Human Understanding. Locke formulates one of his most famous notions that there are no innate ideas, that man is born a blank slate. This notion, known as empiricism, directly challenges the idea I learn things through my reason alone. After what later became known as the Glorious Revolution of 1688, Locke returned to England and published two treatises of civil government, which became one of history's most famous works on social contract theory. John Locke introduced the idea of personal sovereignty. He said that each human being should have powers of self-determination. Locke rejected divine rights of king's theory. Instead, he argued that God gave rights to individuals against the government not that God gave the king power. John Locke was an intellectual hero for the American founding fathers, in particular, James Madison, Thomas Jefferson, and Alexander Hamilton. In his later years, John Locke wrote other important works promoting religious tolerance and new approaches to education. John Locke died at the age of 72 on October 28, 1704 in Essex, England. Locke's legacy today defines our political vocabulary to this day. We still talk endlessly about individual rights and natural rights, about limited government, and the separation of church and state.